welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to work on some wall decor for my Etsy shop and I'm going to show you four different projects you can do. Let's get started. So this is a wine o'clock little sign that you get from Dollar Tree and I got this sent to me from my friend Tracy. Thank you Tracy. I think all two of these items that I use are from things that she sent me. She sent me a box of goodies and I went through them and decided I was going to make them up. So I painted this tray burgundy or the sign burgundy inside and out. Now I'm outside and I'm taking my black Rust-Oleum spray paint and I'm standing way back and I'm making it look like little speckles all over that uh, sign if you can see there. You just kind of stand back and just hold the button and uh, just kind of spray it off and on and it leaves those little speckles all over it but you can't get too close. So I'm taking some of the black folk art paint with a little bit on my brush. As you saw I kind of brushed it off onto a paper towel and I'm just going over the edges to highlight and distress. I have this super cute little birdhouse that I got for a dollar at the flea market and I knew I wanted to do something fun with it and so I think I'm going to use it on this sign. So I'm just taking again that brush with a little bit of black paint and putting it on the roof just a little bit to make it even more distressed than it already is. Not too much of a change. I have this Family Sweet Family stencil. It's a mesh stencil. So where the lettering is, it's like a screen over it, and it's sticky, so I want to place it on the right place on my sign. So I put my birdhouse down where I'm going to put it, and then put my little stencil down, and I mixed up a little bit of uh, Waverly plaster paint with a little bit of antique wax, just to make it a little bit darker, just a couple little drops. I wanted it a little darker so that it matched the birdhouse a little more, looked more antique of a color. And I'm putting that on for the lettering. And this came out so good. I love these mesh stencils. They work so well. Now I'm taking my brush that I used to paint the sign and I'm just going over the lettering a little bit to distress it so it's not quite so stark. Uh, this you know, needs to look a little bit more distressed for me. Uh, obviously you can skip this part if you, it's something that you're doing and you want to keep it bright, uh, bright colors. So I'm using a little bit of baking soda in this mold and I'm going to do a couple little birds to go onto my sign as well with some air dry clay. And I will have the links to the things that I'm using here down in my description. I'm taking the paint that I use for the lettering and I am just just kind of giving the birds a little bit of color there so that they match the sign a little bit better. Now I'm taking some E6000 for my birdhouse and I'm putting that on my sign where I want it. Now I picked up the wrong E6000. This E6000 has, uh, it's white and it doesn't dry clear. I didn't realize they had different ones. So be careful when you're buying that. Um, make sure you get the clear so that it won't show when you use it if it comes out from behind your projects. So I'm just very careful with that and I put a little hot glue on that as well. And then I did the E6000 on my birds and place those on my sign. And then a little bit of Spanish moss on either side of my little uh, birdhouse. And I think that looks so cute. And then I put a little bit up top just to put underneath my little shoestring bow that I made. I just made a few extra loops on it. Uh, I had already done this a while ago and I just grabbed it out of my stash or I would have showed you how I did it. It's just a couple extra loops. I feel like I'm really terrible at making bows so I'm working on it. I'm practicing. Here is a rusty star that I have and I'm going to stick that right in the middle of that bow. 
And then looking at the sign, I decided that I wanted to put a few of my old pit berries on there. They're a burgundy and mustard color. I thought they would match really well. So I put just a couple little balls of those on either side to dress it up a little bit. There we go. I just kind of twisted them around and sticking them in on top of that Spanish moss. And this is the end result. See what you think. Here I have a tin wall pocket also from Dollar Tree and sent to me from my friend Tracy and I'm going to redo this wall pocket. I really like the aluminum look to it or the tin look but I also want to do some layers of different colors and make this look a little more distressed and weathered. So I have a little bit of Vaseline and I'm just putting it on my finger and randomly putting it on places that I want to resist the paint. So this is some hammered uh, spray paint that I have in the brown. So it's going to look a little bit like rust, I'm hoping. Uh, this actually didn't come out the way that I had expected, but I did, the end result I do like. So I just gave that a coat of paint all the way around, sides and inside. And now I'm taking a rag and going around the whole thing and wiping where I had put the Vaseline and hoping that it would come off where I wanted it. The Vaseline helps it so the paint doesn't stick and it will resist it and so when you wipe it off it comes off in these blotches and hopefully it's random. So I did take a little bit of uh, sandpaper and go over it just to make it a little more distressed so now I'm taking a little bit more Vaseline and I'm going over it again because I am going to be doing a coat of plaster paint over the top of this and I want it to resist the plaster paint as well so that it shows some of the brown underneath in spots to make it look kind of like rust coming through. So this is where it didn't work out so well. There are a few spots that it did but not really that great. So I did two coats of the plaster paint and as you can see it's starting to crackle on me which I think is really cool. I really love the look of that and that's mostly around the spots where I added the Vaseline. That was unexpected and I'm glad that it did that and uh, the only problem with the putting the Vaseline on is that it didn't quite bring back the rust color that I wanted through it. There's a few spots that you can see where the rust is, but it's mostly went right down to the original color of the pocket. So looking back, I probably should have sealed it from the beginning, sealed the original color of the pocket, and then uh, each time that I did something to it with the spray paint and the pa paint, sprayed in between and that would have sealed some of it in so that it would have come through but it did in some spots so because I didn't get exactly what I wanted with uh, making it look a little bit rusty and old I just am taking a little bit of my antique glaze and I'm going over it with a it's kind of a dry brush and then I'm just wiping it back and wiping it into the corners and all the places where I want it to sit. So now that I got it aged and antiqued looking the way I like it, wrapped a little twine around it, and I bought one of these uh, napkin rings from Hobby Lobby when I was there last. I love buying this out of the spring decor. It was half price. I think so it's four or well, three ninety nine, so I got it for two dollars. I always buy a couple when I'm in there because I just love these burlap flowers. I also bought one of these, uh, I don't know, I guess they're the lamb's ear. It's just a little wreath, a little small one, and that was $6.99 at half price, so I paid $3.50 for that one. 
and I decided I thought I wanted it inside this pocket. I thought it fit perfectly and I thought it was so cute. So I tucked that down inside but then I remembered I wanted to put my string back in the back so I took it back out and I put my string in so that I could hang it on the wall. There we go. Trimmed the edges off that or the ends and then I put my wreath back in. Now I have this really cool uh, or really pretty uh, bunch of flowers that I also, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby as well. They're just little greenery with little tiny white flowers on the top and I just think they're so pretty. So I got a big bunch of those. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for that, but I'm pretty sure it was half price. I did not pay full price for that. So it was probably around four or five dollars. So I'm taking and sticking a few of those little sprigs inside the pocket and then I'm going to glue my flower, my burlap flower, down onto the twine and just keep tucking in and I have this little white bird and I think it makes a great addition to this pocket. What do you think? This sign I got in the box from my friend Tracy, it was for uh, from Dollar Tree as well. It used to have a little hanger on it, but it broke in the shipping, broke off. So I have that set aside. I do not need that for this project. So I'm just sanding it down just a little bit to kind of dull it up. And I'm taking some of my black folk art paint in some of my platinum chalk paint, and I am adding it to to darken it up to make a darker gray color. So it was just a few drops of the black paint to make that color as you just saw. So it doesn't take much. And I'm giving it a coat of paint and then I'm stippling uh, the second coat on to get a better coverage on it and to give me a little bit of uh, some bumps and lines to for my dry brushing to grab onto. So once that was all dry, I am taking some white or some plaster paint, which is like an off-white creamy color, and I'm dry brushing that over the top of my little sign. I picked up one of these uh, little holders from Dollar Tree as well, and I am going to paint it uh, two coats of the plaster paint. Once that is dry, I'm taking my E6000 and a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to put it on the back to glue it onto my sign. So after looking at my sign, I decided I wanted a little bit darker distress to it, so I'm just taking a dry brush of black paint and going over the top of the sign and the uh, little holder that I attached to the front. And then I'm just taking a little bit of sandpaper and sanding it back, kind of feathering out the paint and dulling it a little bit in spots and just making it look more random. I have this word rub on that I got, I think this was from Dollar Tree as well, and I am taking the welcome off there and going to put it right on top of my little holder. Just use my nail to rub it off and then peel it and there we go. We have a little welcome sign on there. Now I missed a little bit uh, of footage of this I guess. I, I, I lost it or I didn't get it. Uh, I have this little stamp and it's supposed to be chicken wire so I thought it would be cool just to put it around the edges kind of randomly and then I dry brushed over it to dull it back a little bit and look, make it look distressed. Taking some of my uh, Spanish moss and I'm going to put it right down inside my little pocket and also 
some of that greenery with the white flowers. I took some pieces of that off and put it down inside. And then a little bit of the black and white checked gingham ribbon. And this is done. the detail on this little wall pocket but I wanted to bring it out a little more so I'm taking a little bit of a dry brush of black paint and going over it to make that detail pop even more it's so pretty and I love it and I think with the grit with the black over it it just really makes it stand out taking some black twine and I'm going around it a few times and I'm going to glue it to the back to make that black stand out even more a little gingham bow with um, just a shoestring type bow and we're going to glue that to the front. I took a little bit of paper towel and tucked it down inside my little pocket so that I can fit my greenery in there and it would fall. I'm going to use some of the greenery with the white flowers and stick those down inside with a little bit of adjusting and make a nice little bouquet coming out of the top. And there we go. So we got that and then a little bit of the Spanish moss around the edges and this project is done. I hope you liked all my projects today. Down in the description will be a list of a few of the things that I have used and also there will be a link to my Etsy shop if you're interested in any of these they will be posted up there so thank you for watching and take care